one move. God, enough of the wicked king of Egypt. May his people work as slaves. What for Egypt has become impossible. So God chose Moses to go and speak to the king. But the king would not listen. The people of Israel listened to God, did as he commanded. The king of Egypt refused. God sent pledges to punish Egypt. He sent millions of frogs, flies, and locusts. He also sent hail and darkness. But the king was stubborn and would not give in. He would not let the people go. God became very angry. Killed some Egyptians and finally the king agreed to let the Israelites go. Quickly Moses got the people ready to leave. They were crossing to travel across the desert to the Red Sea. God would show them the way by day. He would be like a pebble of cloud in the sky by night. Would be a pebble of fire. After the Israelites have left, the king of Egypt changed his mind. He called together other 600 chariots and sent them to catch the Israelites. They will not get away, he shouted angrily. By now, the Israelites had reached the shores of the Red Sea. When they saw the clouds of dark behind them, they knew the Egyptians were coming. Everyone was frightened. What have you done, Moses? Why have you brought us here? We are all going to die. They cried. But Moses stayed calm. Don't be afraid, he said. Trust God. He will fight for you. Then God said to Moses, Lift up your stick and put out your hand over the, out of the sea. It will divide to let the people through that night. The people of Cloud moved so that it would be, but it would was between the Israelites and the Egyptians. There was so much cloud and darkness the soldiers couldn't even see anything. Moses put out his hand and out over the sea. God drove the water back with a strong east wind. There was. Dry land where the sea had been. Imagine a dry path through the sea with giant walls of water on either side. All the Israelites crossed safely to the other side. But when the Egyptians tried to follow the sea, suddenly closed them in. All the soldiers were swept away by the foaming water. So trust in God. Do never, don't never give up. And I'll see you next time, guys.